So excited. Your first t-shirt with Cricut Joy Extra? This is my first t-shirt made with Cricut Joy Extra. And I'm so excited. iPad? I did use my iPad this time. I didn't know that was possible. Not so, a problem using it. It hooked up to Bluetooth with no issues. It was great. So let me talk about the text X shoe size. What are you talking about there? So this is for you. You made this t-shirt <laughs> up, not me. <laughs> all right. So any problems cutting or anything? No problems cutting at all. Is that a light grip mat? This is a light grip mat. So when we ordered the Cricut Joy Extra, we ordered a bundle, and the bundle came with the light grip mat, not a standard grip mat. And it worked for and vinyl? We, we wanted to make a t-shirt, so we tried it out, and it worked perfect. Yeah, that looks perfect. And we're using Michael's Make Market, I think is what it's called, vinyl. So a lot of people don't realize you don't have to use Cricut vinyl, you, do you? You don't have to use Cricut vinyl. Interesting. Is there anything different about handling this or heat pressing it? Um, no, it was it worked out really great. They told told me on the box that it needed to be set to between two seventy and two ninety. So I set it at two ninety for thirty seconds. Wait, this isn't a Cricut heat press. This is not a Cricut heat press. So you don't have to use Cricut vinyl or a Cricut heat press. No, this is the HTV Rant Auto heat press. What about a Cricut T shirt? You don't have to use a Cricut T-shirt. What's the only thing you really need is Cricut for cutting. Yes. Wow, that's a shock. A lot of people don't right? realize this. What are you doing? There's nothing on there. No, I'm getting ready to um, press the T-shirt. So you're using this as an iron? I'm using it as an iron. Oh Taking, goodness. Pressing it for five seconds to take any moisture out before I add my vinyl to press that. Well, that's a good idea. You can open a dry cleaner. You ever think about that? <laughs> sure, All right. right. So just a regular time, any difference in this vinyl? No, no difference. Um, again, 290 degrees for 30 seconds. And I'm folding the vinyl in half. So I can mark the center point before I put it on my shirt so I have a really good idea of what the center point of my shirt is. Pro tip. <laughs> now, how do you know it's straight? You're just eyeballing it? Yeah, I'm kind of eyeballing it here because we did this in a little bit of a rush. And I will admit, it is probably just a hair crooked, but oh, that's it okay. It's for you. Straight. Come on, it looks good. <laughs> All right, so this looks pretty simple. This is pretty simple. So you put your t-shirt on, lay your vinyl on, slide the drawer back in, press the go button, and it presses it. And when it's done pressing, it auto-releases the top. You can slide the drawer back out to reveal your finished product. Wait, what kind of heat press is this? This is the HTV Ron Auto Heat Press. Oh, that is nice. So what I did here is I kind of walked away for a few minutes and let it cool down completely. A cold I, peel. A cold peel. Wow, look at Walked you. away, did that, let it cool down before I did a peel, and boy, this stuff peeled Perfectly. Well, from Michaels, huh? From Michaels. Is this yeah. less expensive than Cricket Vinyl? I think it is a little less expensive. I think you did buy it on sale, didn't I you? I think we did. It was like a buy one, get one, some kind I of thing. I think deal. it was. Oh, that looks great. Right? Look I think you. it turned out really nice. I'm not sure about the saying on the shirt. I don't know if I agree <laughs> with that, but you know, on a good day. What, is that? what happens on a bad day? I don't, I don't even want to know. Don't even ask. But it looks great, right? It and these does. are all the supplies that I used to make this, um, and I did it with my Cricket Joy Extra. Wow. Oh, God. There he is. <laughs> Look at him. He looks happy.